So it's Coco to know it's been a while and it's been a while I think I said that the last time on Instagram to say that amongst many other things um, you know this is not the only platform of teaching there are other places that I need to go and teach but there are other other duties and responsibilities that I have that I have to adhere to you know and it's also very important for people to understand the uh, we are all So isn't this mean it's supposed to there has to be permission from those who've gifted you and entrusted you with a gift of teaching that you can do the work that you need to do because otherwise it means I'll bring it up on my own and I have no 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 people that are behind me who carry me in this work. So tonight um we're just opening it as a live stream, yeah, open end, you know, open live. So meaning that you can ask questions. See ya, and apart to put. Jamlin. Eh? Move. Tell us I'm good. Tell us I'm good. So it's a QA and I also want to say would you please just take my guidance as a my guidances, my advice, my responses with a grain of salt because it's not going to be a solution to your problem. It's just going to be shedding light. Because remember, as I always say, which when I teach, I teach from my own experiences and what I'm being guided to teach does not mean that's the absolute truth and that's fact. It just means it's just how I see things. And how I see things is not... Um, the final word or is not the final guidance because some people's issues re require a deeper understanding, require digging deep, you know, people were telling to send me some questions and I was looking at them like, no, how do I respond to such because it sounds so complex and I need a much bigger context to unpack and to give proper guidance because um, it means I'm just giving it based on just the paragraph of something. So the simpler the question, the, the, the easier for me to give those, you know, those guidances and those, those messages because otherwise you do And um, so we've got Uku on the other side who's holding the phone, who's going to do it. And understand guys, Guti, I've got Facebook, I've got Instagram, and I've got YouTube. Mm -hmm. I've actually been thinking of maybe I can let go of one of the platforms. Because it's a lot of interactions and a lot of requests for different things. And it's very impossible for me to meet everybody's needs all at once, you know, and to give everything. Because it means that I have no life and the life I would have is to be of service. So if you miss a stream or you miss a message, there's podcast online, there's YouTube channel, Coco Dino and Danzi, where you can actually get information. And we are contemplating running quarterly talks where we can engage people on these issues because people want to be awakened and people want to you know to be educated um, on issues of African spirituality so there's there's platforms and that we are seeing of how we can actually do this thing more efficiently because remember when we first started when I started the streams I said for me it's an offering I'm offering outside the media spaces that I am in because also in those spaces it's an offering it's something that I'm requested to do and it's pro bono I didn't knock at the doors and say hey I'm gonna go from these sides when people we're saying we need somebody to shed light on African spiritual issues for the come. Um, and then I did as requested. So I'm not going to waste any time by doing a lot of explanation with certain projects. of have already set the projects. So we can look at one of the spirit Yeah? The audio is not good. Is not good. Are people saying the audio is not good? Guys, you need to give us feedback. I'm going to try up the volume on my phone. Somebody's audio is not fine, but if the people are hearing us, it's fine. Mm. What's the first question? Okay. Oh, Tato Pell. My question is about spiritual animals. What are they and how do we connect with them? When I was young, I used to see this image of a tiger in my room 
always watching me. It used to bother me, but I didn't know what to do about it. Now that I'm older, it is always on my mind. So, tigers are from the cat family. And the cat families are, are, are connected because you should know the team. In Africa, we don't necessarily have tigers. You know, tigers live in Asia. In Africa, we've got leopards, we've got lions. We don't also have panthers, but some people can see panthers. But they come from one family, or one tribe of the animal kingdom, which is the cat family. So our relationship as Africans with, 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 with nature, including the animals, is that we are interconnected because in African spirituality, every living entity that has been created by the divine energy in the divine divinity, um, is also it's 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 one with us. So we carry those animals as our own children. So um, you know, there's different types of the animal children that we carry. So when we see those animals, sometimes it's because th that form part of our ancestral connection, or we are connected to them as a totem that very like but not the, the, the domestic or the people know, but the water. So whenever we see that, we see that as also something that connects us to our ancestors. And people who are also gifted would see things like that. You know, people who have the gift or the calling of the Roma would see those spirit animals. But I think I did say this uh, because it sounds like a similar question I responded to on Instagram. Would Abanye represent or like people would see the big five? I mean, big, big five as one represent people who come from an ancestral lineage of royalty, especially people who see the cats. Because <coughs> if you see Emma Kosini, Ufaga is Kumba Sengonyama, which is Kubesi. You know, those skins are also representative of, of, of royalty. And that's why it's very important, which amongst other things that you see, you don't take one dream and make it an Indian beauty. Or we should take people basically, therefore it means I'm gifted because we're not keeping people basically, but we're not close to Sekai that you guys have not taken or somebody has to go and honor the rituals that they have not done. So it's important when you're connecting to a spirit animal to connect with it and, and, and because who connect an amount is not a want of putting calculate. So you go back and say, we should team work. What does it mean? What are you asking of me? You know, why are you appearing? What is it that I'm willing to say or listen to as you appear to me? With El I want to ask, how can I help myself get clarification on where to go for help in terms of Ukobela? Because I'm being shown everything, but not Ukobela. And now it's getting to a point where even in the street, people will approach me, telling me, mailing you twice. It's like, yimi ungafun. Yes, because I said, it, it's so interesting. It feels like I'm, I'm living a deja vu because these questions are the same questions I got on Instagram. And I haven't posted the video I said Instagram yet on YouTube. But it feels like the same. Um, because if you've been told that you've been gifted, you know, re remember, actually, we have an idea that we're gifted. And we go to a healer to confirm that the things and the experiences that we are encountering are about the calling or the gift that we need to be having. So when you're working with somebody like that, then they have to also offer guidance and guideline of how do you deepen your connection and your alignment to your ancestors so they can actually then show you the way and open the path for you so that you can know which who is going to be your way. Because sometimes with Pata alone, it's not enough. It requires some other process because it could mean that there are things or ancestral uh, discords that need to be settled first before they can actually show you the way or they could be booty, there's something that needs to be activated and that's where the really are Makobongo. Because Ikobongo, it's now that people think it's Ikobongo, it's about Ubongo Makela. But Ikobongo Yimpande, Umuti, and Sikule, Sinabantu, Abamnyama, Umuti was a way of life for us because we ate from the land. So Umuti is food as well. It's, you know, food is medicine and Muti is food as well that we then ingest so that we can heighten our connection. Remember, heighten. Because sometimes we are connected, but that connection is not heightened. So it's heightened so that the path can be made clearer. Because if Uhamba Nabantu says Nyangins, Baba Sabungo me Nabantu Mimpan, Bakila Nimit, so sometimes they require something to actually heighten, you know, your connection to them so that they can then show you the way in the path. And Ikobong is not only because Ayafuga, Amakobong, who, 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 as Christian is with you, I slow. If you look at I'm a, I, a, in a lot of Kosa culture, no matter where you are in between the Kaya, you pass a slouch as a Kaya. 
because it's to make them one with their ancestors and that's why for some people it will be easy even though without you because they do those things already at high so it heightens the connection you understand so and abanye bayizela leso slawo or the local bongo when there has to be um sevens mega in zela um sevens of big wakaya i need to heighten the connection ea kena bantwa batata ee u no ma lang i want to ask nga ma bayi ee u bushali and how do i pass it okay i mean there's different types of ma bayi and I always don't, you know, people have asked me, I've got a, a, a YouTube video where I explain this so you can go there. But I'm also very um, wary because sometimes you can be preempting things because I can tell you all about this. I'm up by you end up dreaming about Oko Watinji, if I lamanda, therefore this net was wrong down because everybody put it trust it down. But it, it could be preempting things, you understand? Not to go to the Umele an acceptance of 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 your gift is acceptance of your call because Umshalo of Umshok have abandoned any ancestor because it actually again white as I said in Jenny White can tell them shop they they pagamisa whatever color that you associate it with. So um um people have asked me for okay, let's do a stream about a mapai because some of a mapai like it was not everybody of Obonuswa it was necessarily say it funny which your transfer because it will be see it's a plot that represents also royalty because as a son access to easy kumba you understand so we don't all have access to easy kumba because also we need to understand that some of our wildlife is a, it's extinct you know we don't have as much of, of the wildlife as we used to have a so then then came the innovation from easy kumba to what to amapai and people like i do and, and, and it's not a lot of times where you see me but in zofagi pai millions get or an outfit of it so it's very important for people to be cognizant with it when uboniswa is in so it has to be a collective of things it cannot be a similar thing and then you make a conclusion it has to be a collective of the things you see plus what we call you know people who have trust symptoms the initiations the vivid dreams the things that when you dream about they do happen um the uh, the, the 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 symptoms that also depict if you ususha you can't that that's not a migraine a look pattern of color that could also be a official easy now but those things in separation and isolation amongst other things don't necessarily deem you to have been called and it's so interesting that people would say why is it not to us that's also there's a there's a two percent truth to that because they feel good to trust will resolve their problems but because they are ancestral things that were not done properly we have lost our connection and our ways we've lost how we do for certain rituals that people have to go to the extent to actually resolve some of those things but if umuntu aya through what i call distilling processes such as ikobong can then clarify for me which is it it was a funu trasenda or it was even funa bel kalela something who were now but which was long dig and kalela ufani sega gase but which was a kalela your a particular name that you were supposed to be given because in some clans which the names get passed on because those names also carry a particular legacy in the family that needs to be kept alive so as a child who's chosen to carry the, the legacy of the family or ube in kabi as or ube you know in bongi as or ube the one who or patel about as so you would be given certain things and those distillers then this is still and clarify for us which is this the calling that requires one to it again a person are your pastor who's a witch about to be a or is it needing some sort of, of ritual that does not require the whole process of initiation so this process we try to understand it as human beings from a human angle where we actually do one plus one is two but this process sometimes is one plus one is ten ten plus ten is two and then mm -hmm. it takes you back so it requires a lot of patience a lot of perseverance and a lot of seeking clarity so it is very clear because when it's very clear for you it means the messages that are shown to you will also be very clear what do i mean by that if an annual trust us somewhere that's such a simple it's 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 a, it's it's, a, it's an important dream but it can be a very easy dream because if you go to because i post a lot to see Gita or one of the youtube there's a lot of youtube videos about the back it but if you're going to see the rituals that i perform that nobody else knows except 
and some things cannot be constructed because there are specific details that even I, as Umuntu or Orana in Pande, would know which why I do certain things. So the minute somebody comes with a particular message that's specific and that's in alignment with how I do things, then I can say to you, which I be a call. So the people would say to me, so I don't know, I don't, I don't think that they are telling you that I'm the one who's supposed to be initiating you. In Kambe, you are seeing me because you are supposed to be Ungoma and Mina Ungo. You know, you are seeing me because I'm a reflection of what you are needing to be becoming. Uh, you're not necessarily seeing me because I'm the one who's supposed to take you through that journey. Because I cannot also take you through a process that I don't know that it does not relate. Mm -hmm. Because it means that those whom you're needing to align in your calling so that what is not well to be made well will not be made well. Because I'm deviating away. You know, as because that's part of I'm giving a wild example. Part of Amalat is part of the initiation process. But I don't know how to do it because it means it's all ocean. You're gonna burn. You know, your future gonna burn because it's something but if you're dreaming it and it's some and guys don't come back and use it and yes, just as a disclaimer, I don't do Amalat thing. So if you, 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 if you, you dreamt of Ukoko um, Palisa and Koko Palisa or Unkulu Spiwe, Bazen Zalezo, so that means which there are things that they would do to ensure which actually the fire is an awakening of something within you, not something that is going to physically harm you. But it will physically, dis I mean, it will destroy something that's no longer serving you and rebirth something that will be serving. So there will not be a, a a, 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 which would, there won't be a distraction. It might look distracting, but the intention of it is to get something else. I hope I'm making sense. Mm. I've had five dreams of one Sangoma, but in those dreams, I cannot recall what she's saying to me. And in one of those dreams, I had someone writing down that she is the one I need to go see. However, finances are a struggle at the moment, and I've asked my guidance to advise on the money situation, but nothing is manifested through that through that far. Please advise, not show what else to do. Okay, so one thing that I know, me, I would see um, that those things don't happen at the pace and at the same level of practicalities as we see them as human beings. Really, it, it sounds quite ridiculous to go and initiate with nothing, right? Um, but I know that there's people who have taken the act of courage and the risk and said, well, if that's where you want me and you're showing me, it means you know how you're going to make your way. Um, and this is my own story. So my story is I, when, when I went to Pepin, I was the only one who was working. If, uh, if, well, in, I was financially independent at the time, but I was, I was, I was, I mean, I'm still a family person, but so it meant every responsibility of taking care of the finances was on to me. But the minute I entered the Pippin, I lost my job. And my logical thinking was like, how can I lose my job? How am I going to pull through this thing? Because this thing requires the finances. And I knew that my parents at the time did not have enough resources to support the process. So, and I remember, and it was a bit of a creative thing that you don't know why they want you not to do work. Because at the time, the work that I was involved in, in involved a lot of traveling. So I stayed for about five months at Pippin, being a savings, but every need was taken care of. You know, my dad was able to support me, and immediately when I went to Pippin, Baba Sekai was So it's if, if you're feeling good, because there are things, of course, you need to go at Pippin into like Amapai, Gaiti, and all of those things that might require, and some people might need to do Mpato, require finances. Then pass a and go to the person whom you've been shown because they might be able to activate something that can open resources for you in order for your journey to actually to, to, to start to happen. So it's very important. Um, Utsulu at I always dream of being um, inside the water and the water is clear and I'm with snakes. And I also dream of me wearing white clothes and white beads on my left hand side and Nikita. I know that those you, you see that when you connect all those those dreams that that could mean that there's some sort of initiation process that you need to undertake and go through and i cannot say to you how you trust someone so i always say that the minute you're told that you're gifted find somebody who can help actually open the path to to a point where you know what you know is all about and that same person who opens the path can actually be the one who's supposed to initiate you and they might not be because 
every person in one's life. And it trusts her, I will, I will call it her pleasure and I will clean with her. Because it trusts her, it's a, it's, it's a continuous growth, it's a continuous rebirth. It, it, it continues and you move from one stage of your, of your gift, of your healing, of your, um, of your journey. And as you move along, there would be also challenges that come that shows which now finally is moving from grade one to grade three. Manja finally is moving from grade five to grade six. So each grade has its own test. And the higher the grade you go into the journey, it means which the more difficult the test is. Jimisani, I have recently dreamt about my late niece asking for beer money. And I did have, and what does that mean? I mean, you know, it, the, the most important thing when you dream of in a Jusan, of Obabantu, uh, uh, who are late, because beer money can be with each other, which ends in the car, it can symbolize with each other, which ends in the car, is to just make sure more people are saying, acknowledge the dream, and ask them to give you more clarity, you know, ask them to give you more clarity. So, um, which, what is it exactly that they want? And if you've got elders in the family that understand these things, because in the family, some symbols they do understand which, what do they mean and what do they contain. Mm. So, it means which you go, which you make the future, so it should teen like her. Because some people like Kaya would know which when it's time to do, you say, Benzi, for Umutonga Seiko, this is how they would appear to us. So, it's to do that. And if it keeps on repeating and you're still not getting answers, so Shola Gumuntu understand of it is that exactly that they asking for it hamba or nkombo to or do you need to go nabale the corner and then offer them a, a beer or ulas any manum tofu, then you can get much better clarity. But start with yourself to acknowledge it in your bonga, umbon on the puko, can you give me further details so that I'm making sure that I'm not walking ahead or making assumptions about what you are needing and always ask which is and I would come and leave me na so meaning that they need to simplify the message that they bring in your way as well. Uh, unkosi, um, ati koko ni pupa, ni tela umloto umundo ngaseko elu anji, ni tela ahamba, ni tela ahamba gashi, koto lo umundo usapila, what does it mean? So all I know is we grew up knowing that sometimes when you, 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 you dream of a somebody dead and they are alive it means they're alone but it could also mean maybe those are some of their wishes why don't you go and have a conversation with them they might wish which they want to be cremated because we know that when you sprinkle the ashes of a deceased person is a person who's been cremated right and is it something that has been done in your culture or practice so i can't say you know they have to be cremated because your dream say so but it could mean something else it could mean that Finally, there should be a ritual that said, and then you pull up a tire as by it is a day. Because remember, dreams are not always literal. They are metaphorical, they are very symbolic, and they could also be of the things that we are also carrying in our subconscious minds. In Tombe, is that it was a coco. How do I am always crying and so emotional? I know I have to take Ubizo, however, of late, I'm no longer dreaming of my ancestors like I used to. How do I reconnect and ask to be ch uh, channeled? So if your people have been knocking at the door or somebody has been calling you and you are not ignoring it, it becomes very difficult for them to continuously, you know, they will try other ways. So the struggle, you'll start experiencing other intense or extreme struggles as a sign to say, we're still waiting on you. You still have to answer the call. We still have to do those things. Because remember, we eat those ali and so we eat it in a slash of law. Because they are always with us. It's just that we are either connected or not connected with them. And by our own actions and behaviors, sometimes we move away from it. that connection becomes thing instead of strengthened. So, we, you know, the other thing you could do is have you stopped to path? What are the things that you used to do before that made sure that you were connecting and you were remembering the dreams that you have stopped doing? Therefore, it means that you are not hearing the messages anymore. Why and that I always dream fighting somebody or being chased. What does that mean? So when you dream fighting, it's um, I hope I'm not getting a lot of dreams. You know, dreams are quite dreams with a lot. It takes a lot of energy. You know, it's a um, lot of dreams. Yes, and um, um, I, you know, it's it's like I'm a dream. I am, I am, I am, I am, I am staying up because you need to also understand. I need to tune in so that I can interpret the dream in the best way that it can save you because uh, one dream can mean multiple things. You can dream of a snake, but it can mean ten things and not one thing. Um, so when when you are dreaming of, of, of fighting, the other thing, the first thing when you dream of something, always ask, ask yourself, how is that a mirror to me and what I'm experiencing and what I'm, what's happening in my life? 
So what could be the things that you are fighting within yourself that you see yourself fighting with other things? So what are the things you're fighting with? What are the things you're denying? What are the things that you're not wanting to acknowledge that you are running away from? So and, and it could easily, I could easily say that there are enemies or Bunabantu Abanga but that is also a possibility. But also, what is the responsibility you to take? Because if we are said to be protected by Abanga's in Abanga said, if they're not protecting us, it means which is something that we in our acts and in our doing, it's 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 not allowing for the protection. Papa second but take it. Togoza Koko, what does it mean? To dream hugging and kissing a, a deceased person, my uncle from my father's side. I dream a lot about my deceased family members, oh. those who were so close to me. We are blessed. Some people wish to see their loved ones because when you dream of your loved ones, either they can tell you that when they've crossed over into the spirit world, they're peace and they're okay, they can come and tell you to actually do something so that they are always in connection with you. Or they are able to bless you with the things that my partner was telling. So that's why. So if you, you you're dreaming, we all know that a hug and a kiss is a form of connection. It's a form of saying I am with you, you, you I'm present with you, and I'm doing that. And because some people would also say, but if, you know, I dream sleeping with this person, does it mean that's my husband? You know, or that's my wife? Because that is also it could mean that no, it just means that you and that person are spiritually connected. Because intimacy does not always translate to physical engagement of the in intimate things. Non Tetogoza Koko, I've been continuously dreaming of gorillas too crossing the road while driving. Then again, I dreamt of a human form of a monkey. So uh, it depends also what we're doing in the dreams that can either, you know, interpret that dream as, 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 a, as, as, a, as, a, as a dream of a warning or a, a dream of. An acknowledgement of something. I spoke earlier on about animal totems. About to go to So you might be dreaming of those things because they come. They are also part of the same. Gorillas, monkeys, baboons are the eighth family. They like belong to the mm -hmm. eighth family. So you might be dreaming of that. And we should also know that sometimes something looks like a gorilla, a baboon, you know, or because they have similar features. So that's why it could also be. That's why I'm saying it depends. What are they doing in the dream that can? actually say to you, no, these are, 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 are people, you know, on the way, guiding you, showing you about to nimba na liwe na, bata ma liwe na bao khansi ka di tila, or about to nimba for something, or about to nimba, or actually that this, if, if, if something attacks you in the dream, and you wake up with the physical impact of an attack, chances are that whatever that was attacking you doesn't bring you really good intentions, unless if you've been told so many times you have to do something and you're not doing something, so it has to do to say, hey, wake up if you're not doing it if you dream and you're bitten by a snake and then the next thing your feet are so low you woke up and you can see that your foot is you're feeling immobilized it means that it's an attack it's not a you know it's, it's, it's not an ancestor saying to you we want you to take up the throne it's something you need to look into my sister has dreamed about our late sister and her grandparents her father said the other day she said she told me uh, she saw our sister holding the bachate to him what does that mean? We don't know what to do. Yeah. If you need to also understand that mm -hmm. some of you to cleanse, remember earlier on when I spoke that some people actually have to go through initiation because they have trust that they have forgotten and lost. I know some, but I will cleanse. How I to some Habadim, Habadim is to a Mbelego or Bid. A kai who actually ufagwa e e e e litsuki a peso di fa fa fike muruni like you can't somebody because litsuki is not only because of zau litsuki it's 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 of the earth of the soil connecting us to abalele abapanti so there's a connection there so it could be an offering of saying that we are offering you a gift coming in the form of ibaha or it could be that we are requesting you to connect with us because how sacred it is so it could mean many things. Simpiwati when one dream of Amahia uh, Abongoma Asuka Sugan and Amanzi and the dream were being repeated a Ibizwa Emma Tongwin O Uti Lipi Ibai. Does one have to get Lauma Bai? Yeah, if it's repetitious, it would help you to get it and then repeat again and say, Here I've gotten your thing, how do you like me to use it? 
because sometimes for people who have who the calling wrong, they will dream of those things because la baya kon la they they will be relatable because they're preparing you for your journey so that when you get there if if because something else no figure lap is involved that will be another sign that this is the place you need to go into because those are the things they use those are the tools that they use no mpumelela tuto oza koko i dreamt of u koko ati obu shalo ba kubu se koto kushota obu brown she was also wearing a brown and white impanye la pali but i'm being told that there are no brown beads Ebungumin, is this true? No, there is. If you go to Malabastat, I don't know exactly where. Um, I, I also know that sometimes people tell me of beads I've not seen. Just because we've not seen them doesn't mean they never existed. Because if you look at actually the Bapedi, uh, the people from the North Brown is very predominant. And that's why it's the family. I mean, uh, also, which is connected to Malabi. So that beat, we use the brown beat, we use it a lot. And beats, before the glass beats, we used actually beats from the trees. There were, there were trees that we would, we would, even what people call the lucky bean now, in some cultures is used as a, as a cultural beat that connects you to your tribe and that connects you to your family. So if you go to that place in Maravastad, I don't, I'm not very clear of Maravastad. If somebody knows, I'm going to describe it, tell us where exactly that is. But if you go into Maravastad, there's a big market where a fruit and veg market and Tamu they are selling Malamukodu and stuff and on the other side of Malamukodu they are selling Bujo. It's that main road. Unali a lot of shops that sell Ungoma stuff. There's a shop there. It's a big shop. One day when I go there because I go there a lot. Next time when I do a stream I'll remember and tell you the name of the shop. They sell different kinds of beads, beads that I didn't even knew existed. But I know there's a brown beads because I, I used to have I used to have a, a set of beads with brown beads. Lee at Togozagogo, thank you so much for this live stream. What does it mean when one sees light and smoke that appears in the different color on the daylight? Okay, so I, I feel like it's, it's a very difficult one to, to say, but it could mean it's a, a, you know, you have been clouded by certain things, therefore, because you're not wanting to see or acknowledge something, you are far away from your light, you are far away from your own breakthrough because it doesn't sound like a dream, it sounds like a vision. Who says, I see today, it sounds like a vision. So, there are things that are clouding you to get to your light, or there are things that are blocking you to get to your light, but you walk in light. There is light surrounding you, but something there's something that you need to do to, 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 to clear that darkness in order for you to get to it. I have a problem whereby my main guide visits me every night and I could feel her presence but she doesn't talk and I did the cleansing but things are still the same. Yeah, but are you talking to them? Do you go back and say thank you for coming through and uh, please speak so I can know what you need but sometimes maybe it's not the time yet because you're not ready yet to receive the, the message but continue acknowledging them and see and if you did a cleansing and you're feeling frustrated, go back to the person who sent you and then give them this feedback. Guys, it's very important and it's very... As if you are getting help somewhere else, when you're experiencing things, go back to them because remember they have your file. It's like when, you, when a doctor has diagnosed you with something else, in order for you to get a treatment from another doctor, they don't import the file. They have to do their own diagnosis so that they can prescribe that case. And they'll want your history, have you found this diagnosis, and do and run their own test to validate the diagnosis. So it becomes very difficult because I might be saying this, but this the cleansing was had nothing to do with the guide, it's something to do with something. Then I'm asking you to do something which takes you back and you look like you're not cleansed. So it's very important because I know that when you're working with your with the healer, the relationship is there there to guide you with the spiritual, with the spiritual element of your life. So when you're experiencing things, if you're busy or or path or whatever it is you've done, the minute you start to experience, it means that whatever they've done has activated something. So you go back and give them feedback and ask them to help you clarify with the messages that you're getting because they'll be able to connect the dots much more clearer for you than I would. Now, Lady Amanda T. Coco, I had a dream about you a while back. I'm in the process of going a Pechweni. I've been directed where to go, but I only see you in my dreams, but the place is different. Does this mean there's something, some sort of connection between you and I spiritually? Yeah, it, it, it could mean that, but it could mean that, I said earlier, and if you dream of it, it could also mean that it's because you have to be some you know, or you have to be an African teacher, or you have to be, you know, it's 
what I can, I, what, what, what that represents. Like even when people say I dream of famous people, famous people are well-known people, are people who do things in the interest of the whole. So umuntu hamba na makosi because amakosi umuntu zalo kosi na nisho they are of service of the whole of the communities in which they are placed in, the, in those thrones. So therefore, it could be to hamba na bantu banja, you know, ababu yo kosi. So if you've been shown. It depends also what are you seeing me, what you know, if, 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 and who said that's the place you're supposed to go, is Abad Bagini or somebody qualified you for that. So just make sure Guti, you are not, um, you're not misplacing yourself in any now. But if it me and Guti, we are connected, or there's an ancestral lineage that connects us somehow. Komoto Otitawaza Koko, I've dreamed of my grandfather for the first time since he died in 2004 from my father's side. Um, sweeping and clean, cleaning the, the yard where I grew up at till I was 10 years and now I'm married and moved to a new province but when I'm at home I make sure I go to the graveyard and clean and give thanks in the living in general. What exactly does it mean? Also, you know, release ourselves from that that mourning or that lost process and bring that light and draw the ancestor closer as an ancestor closer to us. I found a turtles at home and this was the second one that was found in the yard, which was small before I found this one. The small one died as soon as I found that one. After I found I have been having dreams of the turtles and snake. Plus, I've had problems with the headache ever since then and dreams of being with my sisters in a wild place. And they were talking to me about not using my name. Hey. Right. So sometimes when we're not... So when we're not living up to our names, uh, my name is Dinewa, so meaning the one with many gifts. So if I'm not living up to my many gifts that I am proud to do, mm -hmm. hence the name that I've been gifted, I will get dreams that remind me that I'm not living up to my name. So that's what it could mean, that you're not in alignment with the purpose in which you've come to, to serve here. And uh, when you're seeing tortoises and snakes and all of those animals, when you see the wild animals, as I explained earlier on that, they can be calling you to connect to your own family rituals because the totem is associated with those things, but they could also be calling you to a higher calling, which is the call of your own. Time difference, I almost missed out. I appreciate what you do. You are the only person who teaches us about our spirituality. Isifundisa Indlela and how to tackle some spiritual things. You are the only connection we constantly have far away from home we thank you i appreciate i think you're the only one we know of i know there's a lot of teachers out there that also do this work and that teach um, and you know i think i i remember one time because uh, I, I i read a lot and louis hay the late louis hay um, uh, runs a publishing house called hay house and there's a lot of spiritual teachers who teach on similar issues and said uh, we can have 10 of us on the panel speaking the same thing, but because we speak it differently and we articulate it differently, we will speak to different members of the audiences. But it doesn't mean the other one is saying something better than the other. So what I'm trying to say is that you might be connected to me because when I speak, your spirit can resonate, right? And then when somebody else speaks to somebody else, so that's why it's okay even when somebody doesn't understand why you do the things that you do. Somebody doesn't understand my work and how I do it because it means that you don't resonate, but it doesn't make you right and make you wrong, and it doesn't make you right and make you wrong. It just makes that you, you know, different strokes for different folks. But I really appreciate the, the feedback. But I know there's a lot of people who do, you know, teachings um, you know, on, on, on issues of African spirituality. I think the, the teachings that I've done have spread so widely and, and so hugely um, because of social, thank God for the tool of social media, because now we can actually capture and save this and put it online and people who were not part of the community. Uh, to La Tukoko, I had a dream, my late granny looking at me and she didn't say anything and I said to her many 
may you please tell me what you wanted to, uh, to tell me she didn't, then I woke up. Don't to talk about Zagogo. Since I've started watching your videos, I've taken some of the dreams you've been explaining from when I was about 15 years. Uh -huh. But the recent one is a dreaming of someone working in my house. It occurs again last night. It felt so real. I can literally hear footsteps. When I woke up, my feet were on fire, pain. I went back to sleep and I, I was a new, I was a new dream flying with a tiger protecting me snakes were around when i woke up my feet were fine so what it, what it could mean is you know we, it's so interesting because of we've lost all these rituals and practices because when we come up higher we are big which we are puma so there's no figure like higher we are big but we are doing this alone music so that it goes in a pool of the heart so sometimes when people feel it's because by a pool and a bunch but they can't get to me we have one power but in short we have to fear them we have to fear them you know we have to fear them so it's like he's trying to find you where are you you think you are here but are you there you know because it's not that they don't know uh, but to acknowledge something is to actually uh, it's to acknowledge something when you are acknowledging and honoring beauty it makes things much more seamless versus just to pull in general to balegi the kind of balegi the kind. The biggie we loyal buzu wa kens wa because we are trying to put in this tool so much we are showing the lapo or we want to all lapo. I abantu ba gubo ba mshie lapo. There was nothing that was done. So there's a hovering spirit that it, it comes to you because as a spiritually connected person or a person who's connected to the spirit world, they're trying to say to you, help us find peace because we are not at peace where we are. So it's to find out what to yield big in the of this big you big you will lose work now turn up for now but some sort of cleansing and to better not done to make sure that you're not attracting any negative spirits. Selindo Wutlote, I really needed to hear this. I'm so scared. I don't have both parents. I'm left with my grandmother and my child. I fear to leave both of them. I'm a breadwinner and I feel like this work is too much for me. Thank you for for teaching this topic you know I, one thing i need to say is that it is overwhelming this gift is overwhelming no more to trust it's overwhelming it still overwhelms me even now we think we need to see some you know like it doesn't matter and what the, the 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 longer you in it the challenges are also higher right and what i loved about it perfectly it really prepared me so it laid the right kind of foundation that whatever that I would be building, as hard as it is, because the higher you go, the harder the challenges and the deeper the pain. But the foundation was set very right for me. I mean, I'm, I'm still grateful for Lang Trasekon, I mean, because they set my foundation right. It was not, it wasn't smooth sailing, and I appreciate every challenge. I appreciate every scream. I appreciate every 3 a.m. wake up, because it really set me right, so that whatever that I come across, I am capacitated enough to actually, you know, walk through it and go through it. And there is no way we are picking because we are picking. There's no way you're going to be ticking the right boxes for such a picking because then I see people. But if people say sapeh, sapeh, we are picking, We are shedding off also other things that you have might have held on to, thinking that they are your identity or the things that save you, but they don't save you because they're getting in the way of your own greatness. So you will shed off those things. 
Ipeto, you might be leaving Umtomani because you are going to learn how to love without attachment. You know, you're leaving Uipredwina. You are going to actually start to trust Kuti. Edozili, Atsuela. Edozili, Gakanya. Because by the time you are in there, a friend in a, 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 indeed starts to appear because when you are in needs, they show up for you. Ipeto, Mikulisa, Ezozili. So people need to understand because people want to tick the boxes by a person. Uzosulegu Begese. Because I've seen with people who've come and they, they have the money and they've got everything in order, but Bakunu trust up because they want to get it over and done with. They can't pull through. Because what 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 what, what is it that you are looking forward to? Because we are people and because everything is something fully. You've tried everything and there's nothing for you in the world. So you need to go into a space of solitude and retreat to really find that game yourself and find your sense of self and sense of purpose. So if you're already going in and everything is fine, so they start to dictate instead of allowing for those who've gifted them the gift to drive the gift. And I hear that a lot with me and Vanilla because when my doses were powerful, I don't think that your ancestors should have taken you to somebody whom they seen you know, I know with you know, and remember I say this is from my own experiences. Where people, where I was supposed to, and I don't think we should know wherever that Dino wanted to go to because that's the healer Dino I knew. Because of Valo, because of anything. It just meant that my ancestors were not going to be saved. So I would come out unsaved and therefore I would still be experiencing things worse off than how they used to be. Mm. You know, because when I was supposed to go there, something said to me, I, I, you know, when I don't have to get right. And you know, fortunately for me, I was already a spiritually connected person. But when I was my angel cards, and other things that I used, other tools that I used to actually assess. And they said no, and I went to inquire. And the more I inquired, they said, that's not the place where your people want you to go. And it was in 2010, I was frustrated because I was deeply depressed. I was, there was so much that was happening that was not going right. But I remember when the tough kept going, I remembered how tough it was outside. And I said, what have I got to lose? This too shall pass. Because I am here to fix the very same things that brought me in here. But you can't fix a lifetime of issues over a period of a month which you are this mm -hmm. But you've been carrying a lifetime. And remember, a person you're not going to also resolve a lifetime of those issues, but you are going to build a solid foundation. Sars, let's take a metaphor of, of, of a house, for example. You are not going to build a foundation in 12 hours. Make sure that everything, what's that thing? Yes, no, no, to make sure that everything is leveled up. So there's a lot of things that has to be ensured that the foundation is built strong enough that whatever you're building on top of it, it will stand. Mm. So some of us want to go says Nema, Trasa and everything else. There are lessons to be learned in struggle. There are lessons to be learned in suffering because it teaches you things that you did not know existed. It will show you things that you didn't know existed. Remember we're working with the spirit world that does not speak the language of this world. So in order for you to entrust in your in your ancestors, we teach them when I'll phone Abanya we see the Sindene person, you were not even sure who Namato is in Zuile. I'm still not sure I'm gifted. Mina I went a person without all the tip for symptoms, being a body. Mina being an akanda, being sang anaji. I was just a mad woman and having dreams and sometimes my dreams would not appear and sometimes they're not clear the things. But men pick a people I learned so much about who has the call. So my dream it's about people about people. I'm not talking about something that somebody told me. I've experienced it. I haven't seen in the longest of time and said, Yo, you don't look so good. What's up? And I said, I trust. I told you, I trust her. And what's going on? What about work? And I said, I'm not working. I said, Yo, what can I do to help? Like, whatever that feels right, I can, can I give you some money? That money bought my cow. And that money was paid for. You understand? There would be things and encounters that I would experience that actually made sure that it was important. And I was worried about the financial constraint because my husband just got a job and then there are bills to pay because we haven't paid our bond for, for months. We were in areas when I went to pay So there are things that need to be done. So there are things that need to be done. So there are things that need to you know, my kids had to move from a, 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 a crash run back by Ogena Alex. They have to move from Ukeramastro Peri by Ukeramaskopas. People don't know your scars. They see your shine and they think it's the shine that they want, but you have to go through that. 
Because show me your scars, then I'll know what the glory you're made of. So those are the things. Because manje, abantu will see ukoko dineo, ye, we are slayer, ye, ukoko dineo, ni sebente. You understand, I'm reaping the fruits of the seeds that are planted. So mara people want you to get the results. So muntu kunu chosa ngamkanja, pume seka tribe ifera rijengo kobela wadu. Because they're going to match allopathic medicine with traditional medicine. So those are some hard truths we need to be telling ourselves. We, you know, we need to be facing as as as, as Africans because sometimes we, we see a person for the wrong intentions. Because you want that kind of lifestyle, but that's not what your sisters have placed for you. You understand? If somebody who you trust a kaya, it doesn't make you trust a kaya much more better uh, than was a kaya because a kaya are not finished. You know, somewhere in the rural areas. Mkambe Idlos is going to teach you how our ancestors kept things quite refrigerated and you're going to come up with an innovative idea that can save electricity. You understand? And it doesn't mean because you want to trust a kaya, you trust a slow magazine in this nature. Some people know much better than a bantu ma trust a kaya. So you really cannot... You understand? And people who judge are only pointing the fingers at themselves because they feel so unworthy of their own processes that they want to make sure that other people's processes are also wrong so that they can validate their own. I know whatever that's been placed that way, it means it has to do with your, you understand? There isn't there's so much chaoticness and drama, even women, you know, with yay, low ones and so It's because asana daily. Those who give to the gift. So when you come in, that's why no more and I won't put on the moon and then in the building coming. The landing for the Nova Lentella, a yay. They abobo aboma bona balas nabu co, aboma bulas valid, issue shams or more. Amako samaku, amakes and aboko matal. So what does it mean, Dala? It means they carry ancient wisdom and they deeply understand things at the world of the spirit and where creation happens because they are one with creator. But if you come in to dictate, it means that you are walking in egotistic modes and egotistic modes are very limited because it's about right and wrong, my way or no way. But spirit will always knows the, the, the time plus and the right way because once you are in alignment with that, things will come. They'll come right. Yeah, you understand what I'm saying? So it's those things, and Yandela, because it looks like people, are, you know, who are asking me questions, there's, you know, most of them, they are mm. called to be healers or called to do something around healing, mm. is to say, I know it's frustrating. Remember, I'm cooling and doing food in the morning. I know it's frustrating because I started to find out that the cooling at 16, I trust at 29. You know, and I'm sure if you come in, being trust at 18, it would have not worked. Mm. But my ancestors allowed me to be in trust at 29. So if we are not able to trust them at thirty, so trust them at because at thirty you are prepared enough to go through whatever that you have to be put through. You have been prepared for that particular journey, and when they send you into a place where they want, it means with the conditions, the environment, everything you are born is in alignment. So five months after I lost my job, I got a temporary job and it was an advertising company. It was in a corporate space. And then I would so that I can look representable. Is it okay? So what I was taught was taught. I went to the people and I was on because it gave me crazy headaches. So they, 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 I was smell sensitive. But I gave me, I was going to go to the park and I was going to go to the office. I was going to go to the office. People were aspiring because we didn't grow up aspiring because of the image that we projected. Because you don't look like a You don't look like a Sangoma. But it was a Sangoma spy. Ngengengengengengengengengengengengengengengengengengengengengengengengengengengengengengengengengengengengengengengengengengengengengengengengengengengengengengengengengengengengengengengengengengengengengengengengengengengengengengengengengengengengengengengengengengengengengengengengengeng
So we need to, to challenge ourselves in those things. But it all it starts with us as well because it's so easy to shift the blame and say that they and they and my kobela and my this went up. You know, Isola was actually saying that but when you are part of life. But make a because I always say what you want to value in Zenzoza. Because that hella levels, once you are out of sync with what the ancestors are wanting to do, let's shift. I'll put it and say, the sex house you are Puma would live and you got to own, you share move up because you tell more Puma watch a hell is in but Belling and Shogan Jalona to Bona, Umganapo, Palis and Amega Puma, Kono Palis get a Ipro, Ukonga, who used to pay Wellena Kalkuni because Uhamba Nabantu, Umsindo, Onjalo, we have a good mess, but Tan, you see the West School. We, you need to understand the people that you work with because even I cannot dictate, I can only guide as your problem. You guide, according to what I know, because you come to me because there's a level of expertise that is based on the experiences of the work that I've done to guide. You know, if you want to go back to the kind of pen, you know, because my understanding of pen is so bad. If I go back to the fag, best way I fag in 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 fag, best way I we 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 in king as community clinic so we in king because everybody wants to be everyone but nobody wants to be themselves and when you are supposed to be yourself and yourself is not of self service to you because you are busy putting other people best to where you are an injustice was done unto you kona no muntu ufikela athi yazi akwenzeka ngakahle the first question i'm going to ask you is how will you take into that place you bantu thumbelela ula yo ba you know, before I can blame Ukobela or Banguti, yeah, Bele Bega, the Lumon, Bele Bega. If I go back in Bazele, you know, I remember there was one incident where somebody came and it's my Boko Ipaga and Zalanga, the Lumon to Ute, Ukupe and Daba, Wagisa, what to Ukupe Mawen, Wagisa Mawen, what Bega and Lena Yonki, what went wrong, and got the what went wrong with it. There was an incident where Sir Ukobela at it, I call it. I went to Wagan Chalong, Mamuans and a song so telling you so. Wabona got the Uti Uti Yazin, when I tell her, um, 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 stay, but send me in the Batia Mujon, the Wabang Kuna. And some of us don't even want any challenge. We think what you do is to show you. You know how much energy it takes for the for, for an aeroplane to go up to a, a higher altitude. It takes a lot of energy. It takes a lot of effort to go up. Maratina Banya is going to be able to be able to be able to be You understand? Because people don't see those things. And, 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 and they want to hear what they're seeing. You're seeing people and you want to be like everybody on social media. And yes, it's good. We are starting to celebrate. We are starting to be proud of who we are. But don't think that you are also made to be like everybody else. You're made to be you. You are a unique spiritual DNA identity. Yes, that's <coughs> interconnected to everyone. But it means that you you specifically had to come because there's a specific purpose and mission. Because so that you can understand. So those things are happening. Before you pointing a finger, which this one did an injustice, what permission have you given them to do that injustice? Or what have you allowed? You understand? And it's not to say if somebody has done you wrong, therefore you do, they don't take responsibility or accountability. But by you taking an accountability and a responsibility is to ensure that you have your trust again. awaken and heighten to the connection mutshele mofumana koko ngaphumutsha hayi koko yase ikhanda uthathi uthathi siku uthandi siku lase next door mama sene siku athi ngene uthanda ngale ndlela bagida ngakhona usa akasalale lidlo sekaphula lo mgidi you understand or uthanda ngale ndlela ucula umkhulumkhashwa acula ngakhona sekaphutsha siso umkhulumkhashwa but ela khali indaba nale boss kamkhulumkhashwa ifuna impande thize nomkhashwa kanayo asikhumela maqiniso not as starting our responsibilities. You understand? I, I say to people, I express the hardships, but because I when I went out of the path, I did whatever I needed to do to heal my wounds. 
and to heal whatever that I could have experienced as trauma or as hardship. And the minute I heal them, the lesson surfaced. And when the lesson surfaced, the lesson set me in my call. Mm -hmm. So then I look back and I say, bless me and bless the space in which I was trained in because I would have not been who I am if it wasn't for the things I went through. Mm -hmm. Because up to this day, irrespective of how hard she was the harshest on me. But I'm not going to be But who's suffering you? Because are then you're gonna move from one sangoma to the other and to the other. Uzo kocha no wutila kuli kumana janao, lukuman janao. Because now everybody's opinion of your life is what is it's ruining supreme versus what actually matters in your life. Heal, healers. Remember, we are deeply wounded because for us to be birthed and awakened to the core, we have to go through some level of trauma to wake us up. When a flower opens up, it goes like, bah. When you are born, it's traumatic, bah. And if you don't heal the scars and the scarring that comes with it, it tins and dents the purity which comes with what you've got to do. Is that say, Gila Chichagosa? Is that say, Gila Chichagosa, Koko? Oh, yes, they see my glory, but don't know my scars. Thank you so much for your teaching. Mm. No, that's true. People see your shine, they don't know your stars. They see you so right, so clean. But the babu who and I love so, the babu who, but you are sad. You understand? The babu who, when you were written off, the babu who, when they said you are demonic possessed, they were not there. Now that he knows his blessing you, then everybody wants a show of it. But have they walked a mile in your shoe? Excuse them. You know, don't judge somebody if you haven't walked a mile in their shoe. Mm -hmm. And you might have a calling and you might have walked through the journey, but my pain is mine. Mm -hmm. And no pain is greater than the other. Pain is pain. So don't write off somebody else. No. That's a level of deep insecurity. The minute somebody starts judging, know that they feel a, a sense of, you know, they feel, they, they lack a sense of self-worth. It is not about you, it's about them. Because somebody who genuinely cares for you will speak to you and will not make more care of you. Nalida, she thank you for answering my question, Coco. Your gift and love for teaching about African spiritual impact. So many of us sending you love and light. I think my time is up. You know, if you want to make two more messages while Kasha clears it, please go for us. Um, and guys, you know, I know Wuti, everybody would love to get an insight. I don't want to say help, you know, because to say I have helped you is such a huge thing. It means like I've shifted and moved, and you know, but I've given you insight. I've shed light, I've planted a seed, I've, you know, switched on a light bulb somehow. Uh, I will not respond to inboxes, I will not respond to the rest of the comments afterwards. Because remember, this is something I do because I've got energy to do. 
after here I've got other things that I need to be to 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 be to say because I'm also what can I say social media which was is a step back who pull a step back which I was to the media so stop thinking you know you understand stop thinking you know assumption as they say it's a it's a mother mm shabalan people should tell us what the what the song they want to sing <laughs> So you know it's it's it, I even lost my train of thought. Hey, mm-hmm. so, um Tawazam Kulusara Tati Tawaza Kesha, what is the difference between Amazuzi, Abba Panzi and Amaton? Okay. So I mean there's different variation to it because Nyazgu to Ikuzi it's still a spirit that has an incomplete a mission, therefore, it would go and possess a body. Maldome Soma says, um, because ancestors is a generic English word that actually puts Bonk and Abantu underneath the same umbrella. Because Abapanti don't necessarily Abatin to Tosela, they just deal with Tiba or Nan. Abanyabazoti, Amatomo are those who bring us messages. Like I said, there's different variations of it, and because of how. You know, um, a, in a language has been a, a language has been brought into so that we're trying to be concise. I'm looking for the English. In in concising things, we put everybody under the same umbrella, and that's why I said earlier on because now we use every we use the term amatos is a cool, but a lot of times maybe to refer to it was muto fusha imimo ya refer paulo mo ya osapun kuba inda ba or sebenz or into a tease, hence they come to you and then back to but to refer to more. So that's what it means. Abba Panti normally are, are spirit guides that are there to guide us. We must come and say, let us go to this in there. And they show we to us and divinity are connected in order for us to, you know, be able to manifest the right things in our lives. It's in Ingo. I'm not taking pictures. I hope you're coming. No, there's no songs yet. They just okay. keep dreams and dreams. Ah, it can be dreams. Mm-hmm. That the streams. You don't send off the, with whatever song. I give thanks. Thank you for the love. Thank you for the support. Um... Thank you for those who don't like me. It keeps me strong. It keeps me doing what I'm doing. Because when you are of service and you are in in alignment of what you're called to do, you need the one's permission to do it. There's one from Ayanda. Um, this reminds me of a song. Yeah. 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 But the minute you stick, you keep on fighting it mm-hmm. and dwelling in it, it harvests more mm-hmm. the same. So how you transcend things is to acknowledge that they've come into your space for a reason. The same way when you feel that your gift is a burden, it will be a burden. But once you see it as a gift, it will save you as such. Because our perceptions determine our reality. So change your perception and change your reality. And change the way you think and see things. You change how things come to you. Because the universe doesn't understand uh, certain things do not, I don't want it, understands just what is. So if you want in something great, affirm greatness, speak greatness, even when you are fine, it's just to just form. Mm-hmm. Because by saying is that you're living in the knowing that whatever that you are seeking, it will manifest in divine timing when it's going to serve you. Because the sense part is not because 
there isn't money they can't give it to you right now because you think of paying your debts before you go to pay they rather give it to you more separately because you see it it's actually supposed to be for pay but sometimes those things happen because i know sometimes when i get money beforehand i'm like something else i'm like oh ten thousand it was wait a minute i think i need to settle this and then tanta babuya put but do it this time because sometimes that's what it is because remember babonala so yeah boom i thank you so much for your time thank you for tuning in till next time and uh, love you deeply love you lots thank you thank you thank you oh and let me clarify one more thing when i was celebrating 30 k's and i said the first 10 people please nina lewis it was on instagram I, my my page is finally go on instagram i started becoming active about a year ago and it went like this and i know what's we'll on 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 my facebook page the coco Dino Zanzi. I haven't been writing as much as I've been writing, but sometimes I feel like talking gives more life to things than actually writing. Mm -hmm. Not that I can't write, uh, but I do send quotes on the new ones. The page that you're tuning on is always daily or weekly. I always write something as a message of inspiration, a message of encouragement, a message of motivation. So, yeah, so if I didn't respond to you, it's not, but you never know because some people might say they're not making it and then you can't be dismissed of and let's just try to sit it because. We will live stream the conversation. It's called an exclusive where these teachings you'll be experiencing this live. But I'm sure some people are put out on both networks and they might have gotten through the first 30 people. It's a build up to something bigger, something greater. <laughs> Abu Koko Watambo, 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 Abu Koko Watambo,